Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute since I have posted and it's also been a hot minute since I've done a haul. Um, I haven't really been buying anything like clothes wise to actually do a video. Um, I have been extremely busy recently. We were filming for Cavendish last week. For those of you who know what that is, obviously from watching my last videos, if you don't know what that is because you're new to the channel or you've just come across this video, um, I was filming for a TV series that is on Amazon Prime. So episode two will be coming out soon enough. <laughs> um, it's just so exciting and it was like the best experience ever. Um, but yes, I'm back. I don't want to go too much into that when people come here to see some clothes. Um, I can always do another video on that in case anyone actually wants to know about that. So yeah, this is, um, I was so excited about this haul and I feel very disappointed by this haul. I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like this was maybe the most slightly traumatising um, haul that I've done. Um, basically the sizing is just, we'll just, we'll just get into the haul so you can see. <laughs> so the first item that I tried on was this, oh my gosh, it's so long, this dress here. And I love this, like usually I'm not like a florally print type of gal, but I just love the style of it with, you know, the like the little corset bit. And because it's that type of like material that, you know, it's not the most stretchiest. So I was like, I'll size up to a size 10. Like I'll, you know, because especially with that type of material, like my shoulders are kind of a little bit broad. Like they're not like extremely there, but they're a bit broad in the sense. So I thought I'll size up. And I was so excited about this dress and I'm just so disappointed by it. Like I'm not going to lie um like it fit okay but like if I went like this with my arms like here like the this bit it was just not it for me and if I went like this with my arms the bottom of the dress would pull up with me so you could see my bum so yeah I'm probably I don't want to size up again <laughs> because I feel like that would be a lot for my brain to process <laughs> So I was thinking I could maybe keep it and maybe wear like shorts underneath it. Like that might be stupid, but just in case if it did go up, I'm not flashing anyone. Because I was thinking like this would be so cute with like a fedora hat. You know, the ones with like the bow around like the the head part. I don't know, I'm really not fashionable. So I'm like trying to be cute in that for summer and I'm traumatised already. Like... And people are like, why are you using that word so much? But I've been doing so well with like trying to make better choices for myself, like mentally and physically. So, you know, I, like I've been working out and I noticed a few changes and a good, like, like even though I wasn't really trying to like lose weight. So now I'm like my eating disorder brain that's like not been engaged in any of those thoughts for like a good little while has just appeared again. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> And so I keep trying to remind myself, like, tell myself, like, it's fine. Like, the sizing and material is just not it. So, yeah, I'm really disappointed by this. I don't know if by wearing black shorts underneath it would, like, work because it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of see-through. So it might work because um, I tried it with a bra and without a bra because I felt like maybe if it was maybe the bra was kind of pulling the material up or something um, but I had the same issue and I also tried tying it tighter to see if that would maybe hold it so it wouldn't move as much because yeah I, I remembered I was saying with like the fedora hat with like fishnets or not even fishnets but like the fedora hat with like black socks that just not like knee high socks I mean just like a little bit sticking up over like black boots like I thought that would look so cute with like sunglasses and like accessories and stuff like that so yeah I I don't know like let me know what you think because there's nothing wrong with being a size 12 like that I feel like maybe my wording could have come across that that's not a good thing because that's not what I mean at all like I'm not very good with words so I have to explain myself a lot and people are like you don't need to explain yourself but then I feel I do um that's not what I mean I'm just saying that the brain that I have with like body image and all that 
I don't know if my brain could process that in the right way. So that's why I'm thinking maybe just don't send it back. I don't know really what I'm going to do with it because I like it and it just was not it, sis. So, oh, this was another disaster. So secondly, I got this dress. So it's quite stretchy, but I wasn't sure of the material because I know I've not really ordered online for a while. So like it's quite stretchy and it's long, but it has like the slits up the side. Um, this was far too big on me, like on my bust, like it was just like very loose. And if I was to bend over, my boobs would probably fall out. So I'm definitely gonna have to send this one back in size down if they have it still in stock so I know that it was popular. Um, because I really like it, it's really cute and I love like the kind of the flowers on it. I mean, I think they might be sunflowers. They look like sunflowers, but they're white. So maybe they're daisies, probably daisies. But anyway, that's not the point because I really like this and I don't really own a lot of red. So I was pro I'm gonna have to send this one back. Although I don't know if you can, because if I like order stuff and then I realize that I could do it for a video, I end up like buying a lot so then I use Klarna because it's just so much easier um and I think that I ordered these before I got paid so I had to use Klarna anyway um I don't know if you can actually send them back to re to then buy a new pair like or a new item if you've that's something for me to figure out so next one I'm really not sure about this one so it's this this yellow dress with a belt. The belt I'm not a fan of. It's one of these types of belts and I never know how to like operate them correctly if you get what I mean. I just don't feel like it flattered me very well at all. Like I just don't think it looked right on me. Like I just I, I don't think so. It's I don't think. So yeah like as I said though like I I, I got a size 10 in like all of these clothes and now I'm like yeah. But I think it's because like I didn't expect there to have been that much of a difference from the last time I'd done of it, like try got clothes. So I was like, oh, I'll just find like size 10, I'll be fine, whatever. And now I'm like standing corrected. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I feel like it's maybe, like, because I don't know if it's too big. Like, just because of it's, it's one of those ones that zip up from the very bottom, like, all the way up. So, I don't know if it's too big. And I don't think I would fit into a size 8 just because of my boobs and the kind of way that it, like, pulls over. So, it's a bit of a dilemma. And I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, so I like this. It was a t-shirt dress. I also got this in a size 10. Probably could have got it in a size 8 too. Um... Yeah, like I think it's, it's obviously quite baggy and I think obviously if you accessorise it with stuff, can maybe even put like a black belt around it, kind of like cinch the waist if I wanted to. Or if I was going for like the baggy look, I could just leave it like that and then just kind of accessorise it up to make it look a bit more fancy, I guess. And that one I was definitely thinking like fishnets and like black boots. Probably could wear a hat, like a black circle fedora hat with that too. Um, that would look cool. Um, So yeah. That one was good, um, I did like that one. Although I was, part of me was conflicted being like, should I return it in size down or not? So that was definitely a bit of a undecided one. This one I'm also confused about. I think, no, I wasn't confused about. I was confused and then I realized there was a solution to the confusion. So I really like this color. Like I don't have anything that's polka dot. So I picked up, although I find a lot of people, all girls seem to own like a polka dot dress. So, ah, that's kind of like the bottom part. You'll obviously see up here what it looks like on. So it was, it was quite big, um, but it wasn't in the, sen in the same sense. Like it was quite nice to have that like flow to it, if you know what I mean. Um, there was a bit of an issue with the um, the bust area where it was really gappy, but I realised all I could do was just pin it so that it doesn't show my bra if I want to wear one, because probably would. Um, I always feel uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, but self-conscious because when you're like a kind of in the, well, yeah, like on the bigger side of having boobs, 
like it's more of a fear that they're just going to expose themselves so yeah I found that I could just pin it probably like here just to stop it being too much but I did like this one and it was really comfortable um and I, th I think yeah it did look nice on so that's always a bonus next up we have this skater skirt I like this although it's one of those ones that like see if you like unbutton it it's then just like this um I liked it it was really nice and it was comfortable and I just really wanted another skater skirt and I didn't have one in this kind of beigey colour so I thought why not so yeah I thought this one was really cute this was the one, one piece that one of the few pieces that I was like completely happy with um like it fit although I did feel like it was quite tight on the band just not not like really tight but like there was a slight tightness just of the way that the buttons are placed and it's not like stretchy um I did get this in a size eight though um it's just because I was like you know maybe that will be fine because it's a skirt but then usually skater skirts I've got they kind of have like a stretchy waist so that's why I was like that's fine so then it, that's when it starts getting confusing for me because it's like all these are a size 10 and like don't fit or like they're too big and then I wear a size 8 skirt and it's a little bit tight it wasn't like extremely tight but it's it's always a thing that like can fry your brain last well second lastly oh no what did i do with the other thing oh i'm sure it's here somewhere okay so lastly on the clothing i got this top where it says japan fear is temporary and regret is forever and i just love that so much i just love the design and like the pink right in um it's just so nice I really like that and I like the way that it fitted as well because sometimes it's so nice to have like baggier options if you're not feeling it and it's just all about comfort as well like life's too short you know what I'm saying what have I done so I bought an anklet and I have I can't find it I was like oh my god I'm so gonna be one of these anklet girls like so yeah I got an anklet I couldn't get like a good angle of it on my foot so I'll just show you guys it was just like a sparkly anklet um probably it was maybe too blingy for like a first time anklet experience <laughs> but I'm sure it will work out um but yeah so overall I was kind of quite kind of or quite I think they're kind of the same word really I was kind of disappointed with like the outcome um it's especially when like you notice that you know you maybe have like unintentionally lost weight and then it's like yep these don't fit you and it's like a bigger size but that's okay like I know that it could just be like a manufacturing thing or with the type of fabric that it is and it's just a thing that clothing companies should probably get better at with like making clothes for different sizes because if you go anywhere to like a different shop or whatever like they're always different and it's quite stressful and this is why I was like I'm gonna buy more dresses because dresses are more freeing and they're not that hard for sizing and then I mess it up for one with the sizing and two they're sort of like not my fault in the sizing either because some of the sizing that I picked was not it either <laughs> so yes I'm gonna have a fun time sending things back because the last haul I was like I'm gonna send this back like I'm gonna get resized I never done it I just kept the item I was like oh my god that's so much hassle but because I really like some things and they're just not fitting at all like properly um I'm gonna have to send them back I did send one thing back because I bought bras from ASOS and because I was trying to get them for filming and they didn't fit like I honestly felt like I was being suffocated they were that non-fitable that's not a word but we'll just roll with it um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this haul I feel like it's been a bit of an odd haul I don't know um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know what your favorite piece was or what your thoughts are on different sizing and things like that because it's very frustrating <laughs> 
Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.